Three, two, one. <laughs> Ooh, isolation results. <laughs> What's your social distancing with that object, Jay? Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah. Pick, no. pick. Okay. Pick, pick. We good? Yeah. We're underway. We're ready. We're ready. Oh, Let's get doing this crash my balls. Yeah. Anyway, welcome back to Uncle Kid Training 22. Um, Saturday today. Um, so, you know, we like to send you guys outdoors uh, to do a little bit. Um, we're going to find some stairs today. So there's a couple Ooh. of different options out there. There's the stairs at the bottom of Hastings Street or at the end of Hastings Street when you turn left at the roundabout. There's the ones right there before you go up to Peppers. That's about 200 stairs to the top there. Um, I challenge you guys to potentially find a back, big pick again big pick. with Dora the Explorer. This is the same colour as Dora has too, isn't it? it is. There's Orange just a lot of these things yeah. in there. <laughs> Backpack, put a little bit of weight in there. Um, you know, something that may be really challenging is maybe get like a two four litre containers and hit, fill them both up to halfway mm. so the water moves. Maybe we can hide anything there. Six pack of beer up the top of the stairs and that can be the journey. For <laughs> That's the incentive. That's a great idea. That's yeah, incentive. I like it. There you go. I like oh. that too. That's um, a good point, Jay. Good point, good point. But yeah, something that you can uh, carry to make the loading a little bit heavier. Um, obviously scaling option, just keep that weight as nothing. Um, get up those stairs. We're looking for around about 20 to 30 minutes accumulation time of going up and down stairs. Alrighty, now you can hit that hard up and down and die a slow, painful death over the next week, or you can, you know, steadily chomp your way through that um, and obviously make it a little bit more difficult with uh, a little bit more weight. The other option is North Sunshine. There's some stairs there, so you can uh, park at the top. Oh, I can't remember. It's up on McAnally Drive. McAnally Drive. Yeah. Oh, there's another one. McAnally goes up and around to A Bay. Yeah, right. Um, that's why the boys know it so well. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually Jay's favourite. It's Jay's favourite. McAnally. Rich calls it Sausage Street. <laughs> and there's a special place called Sausage Corner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, but it's the one over from there up at North Sunshine. You can go down that big set of stairs there. There's a massive set of stairs there. And then back up to the corner in the beach and go Oof. up the stairs there. And then back. That'll take you a good to get down the North Sunshine yeah. stairs. Up the other side, back and back up. will probably take you around about uh, the 20 to 25 minutes that we're looking for. That's a good The order. other option is something that I was, I was just explaining to the guys. Something that I'd always planned on doing but never will. <laughs> so, which kind of tells you it's a little bit, it's a long way. So Burgess Creek, now Burgess Creek access ways, you gotta park up the back in Sunrise and it comes from a bus stop and you go down into Burgess Creek and then you can walk down to, what's the next uh, setup is Chalet. Chalet, or, Chalet, yes, Chalet. Yeah, just yeah. up at Chalet yeah. and then you go down and across and go down at Hang Gliders, yeah. back across, up at Ross Crescent, walking down and you'll go down the next one. So you can kind of see the pattern, it's like it's Pilchard's Gap. You can kind of see the pattern, up one, walk along, down another, all the way down towards North Sunshine. Uh, in an ideal world, you may put one car at one end and stick another car at the other end, um, or go down all the way back. Um, but that'd be a very, very tough day. I reckon that would probably be take in excess of about an hour and a half. Yeah. But um, we've got plenty of time these days. So yeah, well. if you do have the time to get that one done, I challenge you to get that one done. Uh, make sure if you are doing the longer ones, take a bit of fluid with you, mm. uh, maybe in a camel pack or uh, just a drink bottle, obviously. Um, anyway, enjoy that. When you, get, uh, when you get back, make sure you have a good stretch out of the calves, particularly calves, hamstrings, glutes. Our running warm up, so that running warm up where I run through all my joints and I do stretches through hamstrings, knee to chest, gates, those types of things. Spend a good 10 minutes doing that sort of stuff. Again, we talk about PDE, public displays of exercise. They're so funny these days. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Public display of exercise is fine these days. So, you know, get out there and your favourite, I know Jay will be in his mammal suit. Yeah. And your favourite piece of lycra. Is it yellow and pink? Yeah. Yellow and pink lycra. I've got my G-string, I've got to put it on. <laughs> Why don't you use that same outfit with the special drape and the, and the orchid that you're... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Anyway, <laughs> make sure you warm up before you go and do those things. Spend plenty of time through the carbs and stuff, and then go and find some stairs. Do some stairs, uh, give us a shout out on what you've done um, and how long you went for. Maybe as a, another challenge, maybe count the number of stairs that you've done. Anyway, enjoy. We will see you guys next week. Uh, hopefully we'll be back in our home very soon. But uh, let's uh, hope, hope that we get back here real soon. Okay. Yeah, boo. Yeah, boo.